a lot of people, you know, think, oh, it's just one organism. If we lose that one, the other things will fill into its place. And taking one organism out, it, you never know how that's going to affect the whole ecosystem. Because, like I said, everything's, everything's a web. Everything's all tangled up, somehow interconnected. And growing up in the Great Lakes states, uh, you don't really learn that much about the oceans. So I didn't really know that much about sea spiders. I kind of fell in love with them. I met this awesome professor and she was really really into sea spiders and so that really made me think hey there's this thing called sea spiders that's really interesting so I decided to go work in her lab as an undergrad then one day I received an email from her and it was like hey Aaron this is this is Amy I got my grant approved to go to Antarctica would you like to dive and do your PhD next thing I know I've done 53 Antarctic dives in one season yeah, diving down here, it really does hit you that you're not, you're not in a place where humans are supposed to be. There are the diving support staff here, and they're great and they know everything. It gives us like this sense of security. The other divers are Rob and Steve. To me, it's just kind of my zen. I don't know, I just, I just like being underwater, I, I just really like that kind of weightless feeling. You just realize, wow, this is, this really is a, a pretty fun and unique job. This is my 20th or 21st season. There was actually an ad in the LA Times that was about 1988, advertising uh, a dive job in Antarctica. Yeah, so I've been coming down for 41 years. My first season was 1979 and come down every season since then and and in that time I've just did the dive logs uh, the other day and I made uh, 2,332 dives down here. I don't think anybody is going to get as many dives as he's had down here ever. He'd have to completely stop diving and then I'd, I'd have to dive for like 10 straight years just to uh, catch up to him. Steve do you want the fins up? Okay, yeah, you can grab the fins if you like. So now, by far the most of what we do is supporting this various science projects. And so that's like taking video or photographs for people, deploying instruments, taking samples, doing cores, that's that sort of thing. If you ask them for this spider, they'll say, it's in this spot, at this depth, under that rock. And they'll sit and there'll be a spider there, for sure. Diving so often that we're, you know, we get to see what's there on a regular basis. It's super interesting in that, you know, you look out in McMurdo and it's very stark. Uh, there's really like white and kind of black. That's kind of what Antarctica is. On the surface, there's not much living out there, but underwater it's teeming with life. So the, the contrast is super cool. And, and there's just so many weird critters like this, the sea spiders. There's, there's not a lot of people that even know about what sea spiders are. They're not spiders. The sea spiders are a very ancient group of arthropods. They're in the group that has horseshoe crabs and uh, scorpions. In the world, there was like 1,300 species of sea spiders, but there's roughly 100 that are only found down here in the Southern Ocean. They're usually really, really small, um, like, I don't even, the size of your fingernails. They grow really, really big in Antarctica, so they are an example of polar gigantism. The water down here is so constant and so high oxygen, and that's one of the things that when you have high oxygen content, things can get pretty big, so. The days outside, we uh, get up, come down here to the dive locker. You suit up, get all your stuff on. Get in the piston bullies and drive, and we go out to the dive huts. You know, you have all your gear, you're sitting in this hut. You're looking down into a hole, also kind of intimidating because you see the ice is thick, there's like a tunnel going down, it's really dark. Jellyfish, there's these, uh, the cone jellies, the tinafores, just, it's like a rainbow of colors. 
you know, pink corals, all kinds of different colored sponges, and the seals are always spectacular. You hear them almost every dive. When the divers are out, they can grab the ones that we need, so we're not grabbing a bunch of just any spiders that are down there. It's a really calming experience because there's very little current, so you can just float. Cold toes? Yeah. Oh. Toes cold. How wet did you get? Uh, just, it's always like here. It's wet. Oh, I kind of even saw the ice fish. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, it's ice fish. 20 years ago, when you dove down here, the water was gin clear. Now the visibility is still great, still hundreds of feet, but you see the water. That means something's going on. There's so many questions that we can ask about the things going on down here with temperature change. It's a really interesting topic because the temperature is changing, the temperature is increasing. What we're doing down here is studying the effect of temperature okay, on the development rate of invertebrate larvae. The oceans have stayed very thermally stable for the past 60 million years, the water has been negative 1.8 degrees. Doesn't change. So if you bump up the temperature by 0.5 degrees, your development rate could double or even triple. Certain organisms have evolved to mate during certain times and hatch during certain times because there's food available. If the temperature speeding up their development, they could be hatching at a time when there's no food around. We'd like to you know, get as much data as we can um, and really understand what's happening uh, to these organisms with the temperature change. So, It'll be interesting to see, you know, 10 years from now, what, even five years from now, I can definitely say it's been changing. It's the whole why behind it. Out of anything that I've taken away from this place, is, this place is amazing to be able to come down and like me concentrate on science and on people who support, not only support me, but like are passionate about what we're doing down here. You never know what you might find down here. It's you look at you look at the bottom of this this water down here and it's, it's teeming with life, so uh, forty one years of deployments, it's crazy. But it's amazing, it kind of feels like you're flying. Everybody comes down here, you don't come down here just to be down, you came down here because you have a sense of adventure and this is, I mean, this is freaking Antarctica. I mean, this is pretty amazing that we're 10 steps out from being in the Antarctic. There's no, really no other diving like this in the world. You could do 200 dry suit dives in any other climate and it won't prepare you for diving here. It's, it's been a good career. I think I, I think I made a good choice. I feel blessed uh, with my career here. It's, it's been spectacular. I, I still, every single dive I do, like I'm sitting at the hole one. I can't believe I get to do this. And I pop in the water, you know, so it's still very much in my heart. The, the diving. She goes, I'm gonna call you Spider Man. She said it right in front of what's your name? Catherine. Dive and stuff. I do. What's that like? <laughs> well, I'll see you later. I just broke a nail. Oh no. I keep breaking my nail. I'm a frosty boy.
<laughs> Stay frosty, McMurdo.